Hey guys, at BV Matson here. It's time to clean up this emblem. Now, this emblem, um, Tank was missing one of the emblems, so I had to go on eBay and uh, find one. So I found one, and it fits perfect. It's going to be great, but the color scheme is all wrong. Um, it's got to be black. The outer edges need to be black. So I got to clean this thing up quite a bit um, and paint this thing black. So I'm going to be real careful while I do this because um, I don't want to screw up the white because look at the white. The white's in actually really, really good shape. I just need the black. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to dive in and I'm going to get myself a really small syringe. I think this is going to be the way to go on this. Um, I've had very good luck doing this before. Um, go to eBay, go buy a little five pack of uh, these small syringes and... Uh, Kind of makes painting really, really, really simple. So I'm going to use some testers paint on this. Um, really durable stuff. Works very, very well. I've got my black. And I should be able to just kind of drop this in there. I'm going to have a paintbrush too, just in case I need to get into some of these areas. But I'm telling you, a syringe with your paint, especially if you have to end up and go in and do the white, this is the way to go. You can just like suck the paint in and just really carefully drop that into these embossed little areas. And it works out really, really, really well. So let me grab my other label so I can, or my other badge so that we can kind of compare and contrast what's going on here. This is what it needs to look like, all right? See how it's got black? <laughs> totally opposite, totally wrong. Um, we're gonna need to uh, fix this up, so uh, let's get started. All right, gave it a nice wipe. Um, I think I'm ready for some paints. So let's let's try this. Let's see if I can actually get this open. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's fro shut. Come on, buddy. There we go. We'll get this open here. And uh, let's just see how we can do here. Again, slow and steady wins the race, but again, I'm a real fan of using syringes uh, in this situation. See that? I don't know if you can see it. My hand's in the way, but we do have some paint in there. So there we go. Some drippy stuff. And basically just slow and steady. You can work it into these kind of embossed areas and work it around. And what I like about this is that you have amazing, amazing control over the paint. So let's see if I can get some more paint on this. Um, I might be running to the store tomorrow to get some more paint. What the hell do I even buy this stuff? Let's try and at least get the D on here. There we go. Come back over here, and then we can just kind of see. Just drop it in ever so gently. You have so much control over the paint. And if you get a little bit too much, you can always pull some of it back out. Just like that. And you can actually do a really nice, clean job. So that's kind of my tip for you. I think I'm going to need to go buy some different paint, sadly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how this is going to roll. If you get a little bit over the edge, you can just knock that off. You can actually wait for it to dry and knock it off later as well. Um, but that's kind of the idea. I don't want to tip it too much. Idea is just to start using this product to do that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to. Let me see. Oh, there. Okay, there. I've got some good paint here. Let's see if we can actually get a little bit more. I'd like to keep going with this. Let's see, push that all the way out. And let's see if we can get some more product in here. Oh, we might be able to make, there we go. We got some paint now. All right. So now I can just very, very carefully start working it in. I love the emboss nature of these parts. It makes it very, very easy. Um, the paint. You know, it's it's very hard to, like, go over the edge. <laughs> like, I, as I just said that, I went over the edge. But that'll clean up just fine. But, man, see how it's, it's almost like a pencil. You can just work the paint where you need it. Got a little bit thick over here. So I can just kind of move this product 
down into this area. And it's almost just like drawing. Um, I do not have a very steady hand. Um, so trying to paint this, uh, I would be making such a massive, massive, massive mess. Um, and just a little bit of pressure on the syringe. And you can actually do a really solid job. Oop, there I got a little bit too much paint coming out right now. Just gonna start moving a little bit. See how it just kind of drops right in where we need it? It's absolutely fantastic. I just love fixing these old emblems this way. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look good, guys. I think we might be able to actually get this done tonight. Give you a closer look. There you go. Let's just kind of keep on working it. Again, real light pressure on the syringe. And get a little bit of product out and just kind of work that paint just a little bit. And just work your way around. Nice, gentle touch. You don't have to be a great painter by any means. Oh, there, I'm going all over the rails. I looked at the I looked over at the camera to make sure you could see what's going on. And once you know, I freaking went all over the lines. <clears throat> It'll clean up. It'll clean up real easy, though. And then the A. We got to do the A. <laughs> we'll come back and clean that one up. Um, that'll be okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, and what I can do here, since I got some drippage happening here, I'm going to take one of these smaller ones. I'm just going to kind of clean this up. There's a little smaller edge. and go in here and pull that up onto the end. Get my edges really, really nice. There we go. Just like that, man. I'm telling you, these syringes are the way to freaking go. And then um, that's really all there is to it. That's kind of my tip for you. Easy way to, to paint badges. Get your syringes out and do that. I gotta clean this one up, but bada bing, bada boom. There you have it, guys. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and I'm gonna have two Honda badges that are gonna match. Again, I'm gonna have to clean up this white just a little bit on this other badge, but man, the white is in great shape on this one. Um, pretty straightforward, it's gonna look good. It'll all clean off, like on the O there. You know, I got a little bit out of control. No big deal. Ta-da! It's now black and they match. Hope you like the tip, guys. Use the syringes. It works really, really well. Also get some fresh paint. Wish I had some fresh paint, but whatever. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Thumbs up the videos you enjoy. Also follow along Instagram and Twitter at BV Matson. We still got a lot of work to do. Ooh, there's those covers. Don't those look nice? See you in the next video, guys.